Ubisoft kickstarted its E3 2017 press conference with a short cinematic for Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Surprisingly, Nintendo's Shigeru Miyamoto was on stage to showcase exactly what the game is about. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle sees the Rabbids teleported to the Mushroom Kingdom. They eventually work with Mario to save the kingdom somehow. The exploration aspect takes place from an overhead perspective. The actual combat is a tactical turn-based RPG where players will battle evil rabbits. Why are they bad? Well, why not? Abilities for each character are showcased, and players will be using movement options, rabbit pipes for flanking enemies, and defensive skills to defeat enemies. For a weird crossover, there's actually quite a bit of depth to this combat. Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle will release exclusively for the Nintendo Switch on August 29th. It was Ivory Tower's turn to showcase The Crew 2 at Ubisoft's E3 2017 press conference. The revealed trailer featured an assortment of vehicles to race with, from sports cars and superbikes to planes and speedboats. The overall premise seems to focus on being a professional racer who is popular on social media. At least the actual gameplay footage showcased some beautiful environments, gorgeous water effects, and strong vehicle design. The Crew 2 will apparently allow players to forge their own path, even if that means going off-road and exploring nature. Thankfully, it seems that even among boat racing, there will be backwaters to explore as well. The plane racing is perhaps the most intriguing aspect since you weave through the skies and city. Releasing in early 2018, The Crew 2 will offer beta access for those who sign up now. It will be out on PS4, Xbox One, PC, Xbox One X, and PS4 Pro. What is it with pirate games these days? Microsoft has Sea of Thieves, and now Ubisoft has announced Skull and Bones. The difference here is that while the former is happy and jolly, the latter is realistic, gritty, and violent. Developed by Ubisoft Singapore, Skull and Bones is described as a tactical action game taking place in a shared systemic world. Players can fight solo or with friends, competing in seasons to become Pirate King. Loot Hunt, the 5v5 PvP mode of Skull and Bones was showcased and it involves raiders versus cutthroats in a match to garner loot. Each player controls their own ship and crew and they're encouraged to master the wind to position themselves correctly. Splitting up is also encouraged and each ship has different strengths and weaknesses. Also, Krakens seem to be involved. Hmm. Skull and Bones is out in Fall 2018 for Xbox One X, Xbox One, PS4, PS4 Pro, and PC. Despite creator Mitchell Ansel stating that it wouldn't appear, Beyond Good and Evil 2 was indeed showcased in a new cinematic trailer at E3 2017. It's hard to believe that it's been about 15 years, but it's finally here. The game takes place before the events of the first game, before the birth of Jade. Corporations are creating hybrids, garnering resources to expand through the stars, and it's all less than positive. Large starships and travel are promised along with an unforgettable cast of characters. Sadly, no gameplay has been showcased, and it doesn't look like we'll be seeing it this year. Ansel noted the Space Monkey program that players could join to help shape Beyond Good and Evil 2. Playing with friends was teased, though more details weren't offered. All in good time, we suppose. What are your thoughts on the setting for Beyond Good and Evil 2? Let us know in the comments. That sci-fi IP seemingly teased in Watch Dogs 2 may not have been Starlink Battle for Atlas, but it sure looks that way. Anyway, Ubisoft announced the game at its E3 2017 presser. Essentially, players must use collectible Starship toys to create a team of starfighters to explore the universe and battle enemies known as the Forgotten Legion. Furthermore, they sport hardpoints for swapping weapons out. There's even a special attachment system for the Nintendo Switch's Joy-Con grip can you believe that the team behind Splinter Cell Blacklist is making this? Let that sink in for a moment. Ubisoft Montreal's Far Cry 5 mercifully took the stage at the publisher's E3 2017 press conference. Hope County is pretty much cut off from the rest of the world and sees the player assembling an army to battle against the project of Eden's Gate. The gameplay footage showcases the open world as the protagonist works with Grace Armstrong, a gun for hire, to assault Eden's Gate. The player can issue commands to their companion, in this case, providing cover fire. Stealth is still a factor, though violence is still very much an option. Hiring a dog, basically Boomer, to assault enemies and steal guns is also possible, along with calling in air support. Co-op allows you to call in friends to help as well, and overall, this trailer isn't too bad for showcasing the sheer insanity going on in Hope County. Far Cry 5 is out on Xbox One, PS4, and PC in 2018. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.